everyone. Happy Sunday. Hi, Millie. I am currently at my parents' house. I don't know if you can hear in the background. I am currently here doing laundry. So funny story. Uh, normally I do my laundry. Oh, that's one right there. On the weekends because usually when I am busy working, I don't have time to do laundry or clean my apartment during the week. I'm just so busy and then I come home and I'm so tired and I'm usually having to do other things that I just don't have the time. Plus laundry takes several hours, so I just don't have, I could clean, but I don't want to. But laundry takes several hours, so I just do not have the time. I typically do it on the weekend. So last Saturday, actually, I was over here at my parents' house. I can't even remember why, but I was here all day basically and then I went home and I started to do my laundry I got home it was like seven o'clock at night so it wasn't even that late so I started to do my laundry and then so I like put the first load into my dryer and when I go to turn the knob I noticed like it's not clicking like it normally does but it still started so I thought okay no big deal it's still working well after a couple of minutes I realized that my dryer is no longer running and it had only been a few minutes, so obviously my clothes weren't dry and it wasn't done yet. Well, it stopped working. So then I took the knob off and the knob was like cracked. So I couldn't, can't use my dryer. So I ended up having to come back to my parents' house that night um, to finish up laundry. And then I ended up just spending the night here Sunday night because, so that way I would go to church with them in the morning. And then we had like a family party that afternoon to celebrate my grandmother's birthday. Um, so yeah, it wasn't that big deal. So we ended up ordering a new knob and it was 40 freaking dollars for this plastic knob that's gonna go on my dryer, okay? Oh my God, like hair right here. $40 for a plastic knob, I couldn't believe it. Well anyway, so it shipped, I ordered it on Sunday. It shipped on Wednesday, and so the tracking information said that it was supposed to get here by the end of the day on the 18th, which was yesterday, Saturday. So I was waiting all day Saturday, and I like go to look online again at the tracking information, and it still said that it was gonna be delivered by the end of the 18th. It didn't say out for delivery, it said in transit, and it also said that it was in Indianapolis. So it was like, I don't think it's gonna happen. Well, uh, then last night when I was looking, it no longer had an expected delivery date. It said it can't tell me that. Um, st still said it was in transit. So basically, because I don't think FedEx works on Sundays. Um, yeah, I don't know when it's coming. So uh, luckily, I, <laughs> I have great parents who let me come over to their house and use their uh, washer and dryer to do my laundry. So. Millie and I are hanging out. My parents actually just stepped out for a little bit to go over to my grandmother's house to help my aunt with something. And so I am watching the Astros on spring training, doing my laundry, and I love the windows. I love the windows at their house. I am a big fan of light, natural lighting at that. Uh, like one of the first things I always do in the morning once I get like up and dressed is open up my blinds to just let the natural light in. I I love it. I love the sunshine. So as soon as my parents left, I opened all the blinds up because I just love the natural lighting. My mom doesn't, but I do. And since I'm the only one at the house right now, I thought I would open it up. Look at this dog. I don't know how that's comfortable. Millie, are you comfortable? Hmm? I don't even know. Like I said, so I'm just chilling here on a Sunday afternoon watching the Astros. We're all tied up right now with the Yankees. I'm so excited because we're like two or three weeks away from opening day. I am so excited. Is anyone else going to go to the Astros opening day? I will be there. So excited. I've gone to opening day for the last several years since at least 2011, if not 2010. I can't remember. I think it was 2011. Anyway, it's a lot of fun. If you ever get to go to a baseball opening day, it's just so much fun. There's so much excitement going on. It's a brand new season and a lot of high hopes. There are a lot of high hopes for the Astros this year because we've acquired a lot of good players 
on the off season and we have a lot of good players that we've brought up through our farm system so hopefully we can do well although we have not been doing very well in spring training but it's spring training so you can't really tell but anyway like I said we're currently tied it's 3-3 we're at the top of the eighth so we'll see what happens all right Millie you want to say goodbye bye bye I do have a shirt on people I just got long hair my hair all right, I'm going to go. I hope you're having a fantastic Sunday. I hope you had a great relaxing weekend. I cannot believe it is the end of spring break and I have to go back to school tomorrow, but it's going to be fine. We're going to have a good time. We're going to learn lots of things and it'll be summer vacation before we know it, right? I've been in summer mode all week and I've been loving it. But yeah, I'm excited to get back because I'm going a little star crazy. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah. Bye. Say bye-bye, Millie. <laughs> bye.